Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna to make a chicken chow mein, but this is not the chow mein you normally think. And it is made of chicken and napa cabbage, and it's one of the classic takeouts in North America. I was introduced to it a long time ago. I really liked it. Let me show you the ingredients. You can see I already did my prep work. This is napa cabbage, sliced thinly. Here's a whole napa cabbage <laughs> few pounds very heavy you can get from your grocery store or from mar uh, farmer's market and the last uh, about two weeks for me you can put it in the soup you can do stir fry and i have celery garlic onions they're all sliced thinly and next we're going to season our chicken to season the chicken, add a little bit of salt and a little bit white pepper powder. I'm using chicken breast. It's about a few ounces. And we add a little bit of vegetable oil. Yeah, for some of you, you cannot use starch, you can skip it. But to make the chicken tender, I normally add a little bit cornstarch. That's our chicken. And I also have some slurry. This is uh, cornstarch with uh, Mixed with water, we'll use later, and we are ready to cook. First, we are heating up a pan to high. Today, I'm going to use my new ceramic non-stick pan. So far, I like it. And we we'll add some vegetable oil. First, we're going to stir fry the chicken. It will take a few minutes. After two or three minutes, our chicken is ready. We take, take it out, set aside. Now we add a little bit more oil. Uh, garlic. Onions. Now we add a uh, napa cabbage, and it looks a lot, but it's going to shrink. It will be cooked down. Stir together. Add a little bit of salt. We'll let this cook about uh, five to seven minutes till the vegetables are tender. 
After about five minutes, you can see our vegetables cooked done. And let's add our celery. And chicken. If you want the most sauce, you can add a little bit of water. And let us cook about a minute. Let me taste it quickly. Mm. It's good. It's a little bit of salt. And we are going to thicken the sauce. Again, if you cannot use starch, just skip it. Mix this together. Our chicken chum is ready. Does it look great? I love the color. I'm going to try for you guys. Chicken chow mein. Serve over rice. And I'm going to show you the traditional way to eat it. So just have some chicken. Chow mein. And here's a wonton strips. Maybe that's why it's called chow mein, right? It's kind of like a noodles, they call fried noodles. Like that. Break it. And add a little bit of soy sauce. Here we go. Mmm. Delicious. All the vegetables, crunchy, onion sweet, and chicken so tender. And the wonton strips, crunchy, adds, adds the crunchy, crunchiness. Mm. Actually very healthy dish, right? If you have vegans, you can just skip the chicken. Actually, they even have vegetarian chicken chow mein on the menu. Mmm. Celery. Crunchy. Delicious. Please leave me a comment below if you ever had chicken chow mein like this. Or if you are going to make it at home. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.